Welcome to the Phillips Game Room. I'm Andrew Phillips. Today we're going to be talking about the Bally 5000 Plus slot machine. Uh, this was a particular model that was used years ago. Um, today we're going to be changing out the battery on it and talking about basically when the battery needs to be changed out and how to test to see if the battery is, um, is needing to be changed. So let's go ahead and open it up so we can get started on that. Here on the inside of the uh, 5000 Plus Bally unit, you have two PC boards. Um, you have the upper one here that has the ribbon cable attached to it. Um, has another connection here. You don't want to remove that one. The one underneath on the bottom is where you'll find the battery located. And if you see closely back there towards the back, you'll see the green kind of a cylinder shape. That's the battery. So let's go ahead and remove this board so that way we can get to it and then we can also um, desolder it and put the new one in. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, we're going to have to remove this, this ribbon cable. It makes it easier to slide that out. So let's go ahead and pull that off. Okay, before you do anything, always make sure to shut the power off. Let's turn that off. Now we can remove this ribbon cable. You can just pull the little tab here and just, just go gentle. Work it out slowly. You don't want to damage any connections. Move that out of the way a little bit. Now we have access to the lower PC board. You have the two side clips here. Pop these both out gently and that'll bring it forward. Then you can slide this out. Make sure to be careful with that. Some people use gloves. You don't want to cause any um, any kind of uh, shorts in here by, by touching any components. So I just kind of hold it along the edge and just slowly pull that out. There we go. Okay, you can see here's the battery right here. That's a 3.6 volt. Um, and as you can tell on the back, it's uh, soldered through. There's three points, so we have to desolder that so we can swap it out. But let's go ahead and we're going to test the voltage on it with our multimeter and um, see what it, the reading is to confirm that it needs to be changed out. And then uh, we can start the process. Let's go. Have our multimeter out. Go ahead and set it to 20 volts DC. Turn it on. Uh, your positive of the battery is on the left. I don't know if you can see the plus side. And then we have the, the uh, negative on the left. So let's go ahead and get a reading of that and see what we're getting here. All right, this is a 3.6 volt battery. It's clearly coming up um, that it's dead. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out, and that should take care of our issue. There's the battery. Let's go ahead and flip that over, and you can see right here these three um, points right there. That's what we have to desolder to remove it. You've got to be very careful so you don't damage the board. What I'm going to use is just a uh, desoldering braid. I like that better than using like the plunger. Um, I just think it's more, more effective. So let's go ahead and get those off, and we'll take our time with that and then we'll put the new one in. Use the soldering braid. <clears throat> Just take your time. Go ahead and heat that up so we can get these to come off. There we go. All desoldered. We took that off. Um, it's very tedious, so you got to take your time. You don't want to burn the board, but we got that off. So now we have a new one here that we're going to go ahead and solder on. So let's go ahead and get this one out. Be gentle with these. These things are very delicate because this is a 3.6 volt battery, uh, but this is the PC uh, PCB mount, which has the um, the prongs on it. So these prongs are very, very sensitive. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap that. And then we're going to go ahead and solder it onto the board, and we'll be right back. New battery has been put in. You can see it there. And we'll flip that over so you can see where we soldered. Everything is tight, good to go. Let's go ahead and test it. Make sure everything looks good on that. Get our multimeter out. Okay. And this should be 3.6 um, 3 volt. There we go. 3.7 actually, so this is great. Let's go ahead and pop it in. Try it out. I'm going to slide this in gently. It has um, two points where it connects in the back. 
slide it in gently. There we go, clips in. Next, we're gonna take the ribbon cable, connect it up here into the top and do that gently as well so we don't get any of the, of the, uh, the prongs coming in bent. we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Reset the hopper. Okay. Go ahead and we'll, we'll clear the RAM on it to reset everything and we should be good to go with this. RAM has been cleared. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. There we go. Everything is good. Everything is reset. The new battery was tested fine. As we saw, the voltage was good. Let's go ahead and drop a few coins in it. Make sure that it works. Looks good. Uh, just to recap, basically... With this machine, it was needing to have the RAM reset a lot, which is usually an indication that the battery is failing. Um, so the next step is then test the voltage on the battery, which we did, and as, and as we saw, it was completely dead. So now with the new battery in there, that should solve the RAM issue, so it doesn't have to be reset all the time, and it'll also be able to start saving all the memory as far as the data that it obtains as, as it's playing and paying out. So um, it looks like that was it. It was just the battery that just... a. Uh, five or ten dollar battery depending on what kind you need and there it is a quick fix and the machine's good as new and able to be used again I hope this video helped you out uh, please send any comments questions please like and subscribe we thank you as always for your support we'll see you next time thank you